Cooking a chicken with a particle accelerator? How would that work? First, we need a raw chicken. That's easy. Then, we need a particle accelerator. So, let's put a chicken in it. To avoid collisions between air molecules and beam particles, we have to pump out all the air in the beam pipe before we even turn it on. As the air pressure drops to near vacuum, moisture and other molecules vaporize, leaving the outer layer of the chicken dried and brittle. Then, as we cool down the magnet, any water remaining freezes. When the beam is turned on, magnetic fields focus it to the width of a hair. So it only collides with a narrow strand of chicken, but it completely obliterates every atom in its way. The tremendous energy of the collisions burns the meat around it, or it would if there were any oxygen for it to burn. And the space around this hole doesn't stay raw, rather it becomes radioactive. When we finally pull our chicken out of the accelerator, it's not exactly raw, but it's certainly not cooked. You can take a bite once it thaws, but we're not fans of food poisoning or radiation poisoning, so we can't recommend.